Hi, this is Math Globe. Can you find an? Let the solution come. Okay first, let's write the fractions here, and then take a closer look to the given example. As seen, if two fractions are equal to each other, and if we add the same value to both sides, the equality will remain the same. From this, we can convert the original equality into this form, by adding the same value. Okay now, let's back to the question and add the one both sides of the equation. As seen, the right hand side of the equation will be equal to 441 over 242. Likewise, if we do the same thing for the left hand side of the equation, we will have following fraction. If we then take the two the common parenthesis in the denominator, we will have the sum of the sequence of cubes. Okay now, next let's write formulas of the sum of sequence of cubes. As seen, the sum of the first n cubes, is the square of the sum of the first n natural numbers. From this, we can write following fraction for the left hand side of the equation. Next, a set of simplifications and reductions, we can write two equations for n. Likewise, when we solve for the n, 10 will be the solution.